I'm here with Rodney Hughes of Therapeutic Therapeute Therapeute Perfumes. He just, we just went over this, so of course I have to set up. It takes time. It takes time. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Bro. I'm here in this lovely home. <laughs> it's, um, a, uh, this is a, like a brown Turn stone. of the century uh, yeah. townhouse. Yeah. Huge ceilings, dual levels, wood floors, magnificent home. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So. Why perfume? How, how did you get involved in creating your own perfume? Well, perfume for me came out of a challenge for really um, to have better health. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trained as a Reiki master, so I do energy healing. And um, I started to get interested in, in scents mm -hmm. really through that. Um, I, I was traveling a lot. I, actually, I was freelancing for this company in, um, in Detroit and I would you know, travel there during the week um, from New York, stay mm -hmm. there during the week, and then come back to New York on the weekends. And so, you know, I needed something to do. So I started, I started going to Whole Food and playing with um, essential oils. And that was kind of the beginning. Well, are you, were you a fragrance wearer before you started creating yes. your stuff? I, I, I was a fragrance wearer before I started doing like perfume. designer stuff? For years. Uh, designer stuff, um, what is now being deemed as niche perfumes. Mm -hmm. With some perfumes that I mean I wore years ago, now they're calling them niche perfumes. But I don't oh. know. <laughs> so, Rodney's line is 100% natural. It is 100% natural. We like to say botanical. Botanical, okay. Yeah, because natural means that you can actually add animal byproducts, okay. and it's still natural. But we don't do any animal byproducts in the fragrance. So, how large is your line? You have one, two, three. The line is seven fragrances. Mm -hmm. I first came across your. The name of your line. You were in one of the challenges by Monica Miller. Yes, uh, the uh, person, the Truly Project, rather. Interesting that you brought that up because someone um, emailed me today about getting a sample of raw water. And if you know, you go online, you see that we usually sell the samples in a pack of seven. Mm -hmm. And she asked me for raw water, and I said, "But you know, we only do it as the pack." But she said, "Oh, I w was involved with the Patchouli Summer of Love um, yes, competition." That's what and I said, oh, in, in that matter, you're putting together a collection. I yeah, I'll just send it to you, you know? Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting that you brought that awesome. up. Yeah. So tell me about your more popular fragrances. Are they unisex? Are they... Well, all the fragrances <clears throat> are unisex. Um, and, you know, they pretty much synergize with the body. Mm -hmm. um, like, I, I think any good perfume should really do that. And it should be able to be gender non-specific. Although some things do... Um, when you smell them right out of the bottle, you might say, oh, this is feminine. Yeah, or, for this sure. Is masculine. Like, I, I'm, I'm yeah. very open minded. I don't get stuck yeah. on, on uh, genders or labels. Yeah. I wear what I want, but sometimes yeah. it's just yeah. a little bit too feminine yeah. and yeah. sometimes a little too masculine because I'm not yes. that hairy, macho type, you know, yeah. persona type guy. So, um, yeah, so I definitely believe in that. So, when people normally ask me that question, I just say to them, um, definitely when you smell it, at first take, you'll say, okay, this fragrance, I would definitely say it's a masculine fragrance. And I would say, okay, this is feminine. But I've had fragrances that I thought were masculine. Uh, a girlfriend of mine might put it on or, or a woman client and it smells completely. I don't even recognize the fragrance. Yeah, that's another yeah. thing I certainly believe. Yeah. <laughs> there were fragrances that change on, yeah. on skin. I mean, not immensely, but yeah. there were some fragrances that just sell, smell a little differently than they will on my friend. Yeah. You know, um, also if I've been drinking the night before, yeah, yeah. my skin is different the next Or if you're eating meat or drink coffee, those yeah, things yeah. kind of affect I guess you me. don't drink, I guess you don't eat meat. <laughs> you don't I, drink I, coffee? I, actually, I do I eat meat. I try to eat it um, limited, limited on yeah, limited I, amount. Yeah, I cut it down um, a lot. Coffee I'm not real big on because it gives me the jitters. But interesting, I used to own a coffee shop. <laughs> so, <laughs> like that, huh? <laughs> um, and I never, uh, I stopped drinking coffee for years. And when my partner and I opened up the coffee shop, I had to, you know, get acclimated with coffee again. Yeah. Because I had to test things, see what's good, what's mm -hmm. not. 
And I started drinking again, um, but since we closed the shop, I don't, I don't really drink it. We, um, we go through changes in life, yeah. for sure. <laughs> so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. I think I'd like to talk about, I've been hearing a lot of buzz on cardamom rose. Okay. So maybe we'll try that. And I want to, to be perfectly transparent, I'm not the biggest all natural fan. You've told you know, me that. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's just the way they were on my skin. And, you know, they tend to be very strong sometimes. Yeah. You know, but definitely straight out the bottle. Yeah. They usually are very bold out of the bottle. But usually they... Uh, Which is something they do like, but it's just... Yeah. I don't know, but maybe you'll prove me wrong, hopefully. I think if they're balanced well, um, then they start to live with your skin in a way that, um, you know... You might, it might be a little bit more palatable mm -hmm. to you. And I always tell people too, because there's some fragrances that I can't wear right out of the bottle. Um, I love uh, Royal Water. It's one of my favorite fragrances. So that remained, that remained in your, in your yeah. mind after that. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Um, but I, at certain times of the year, particularly in the summertime, I don't, I don't generally don't wear Royal Water on my skin because mm -hmm. it, it gives a, a smell that I, that I don't really, really like on my skin. But how I wear it is that I will get the acid-free paper if I want to have that scent. You know, in my clothes okay. for that day, if I want to smell that scent, I'll just put it in a handkerchief or on acid-free paper and put it in the pocket. I gotcha. Are you on in any stores or any retail locations? I'm not as of yet. Currently, we're not in retail stores. We are negotiating with some stores as we speak, um, and we're also trying to open up our own um, flagship store, which we're um, nice. seeing for Nice, awesome, year. good for you. Yeah. Uh, why are you? And I think flagship is important because we're doing naturals. Yeah. And you know, it's it's not as an easy breakthrough. Do you have your mindset in any particular area? I'm thinking bed -Stuy. Awesome. Because we don't have... Just um, make it easy to get to, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have um, perfumery here. We have um, Twisted Lily downtown. Mm -hmm. And it'd be nice to have another place to come and... Do you think this rooms. type of natural perfume would have a good audience in this neighborhood? Um, well, you know what? I have clients in this neighborhood, so um, that's and nice people that, that you would never support. even think. Uh, my electrician, when I was working on the cafe, tried my fragrances, and they're the only fragrances that he wears now. So that's, um, yeah, that's, uh, that says a lot for absolutely. sure, for sure. So these are eau de parfum. Uh, uh, these are the eau de toilette, but they come toilette. in eau de perfume and eau de toilette concentration. Okay, yeah. so we were looking at cardamom mm -hmm. rose. Cardamom Rose has been getting a lot of writing. Um, I think a Mark, lot of people Mark, are, are really drawn to the Cardamom Rose. I really love Cardamom Rose. Initially, that fragrance was developed for a friend of mine um, who's kind of been a creative angel in my life uh, for many years. Mm -hmm. I worked in fashion for many years, and I used to do a line of men's athletic apparel. She was there during that time. And it's a lot of stuff, like, mister. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in art and design. I, 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 Came to New York in 87. I went to school at Pratt. From where? Um, from Louisiana. Um, mm -hmm. I studied art and design at Pratt, specifically menswear. Mm -hmm. I worked in the industry for 20 years. Um, and well, wait a minute, you look like you're 29. I, I, I did. I'm 51. Shut up. <laughs> Holy shit. People talk, I'm 50. I'm 50. <laughs> you look great, man. You really do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, so I mean, how did you do all that in 29 years? That's what, people, that's what they say. Like, how did you do all of this? You're not old enough, but actually I am. You know, I've been, I've been here nearly 30 years in New York. Wow. So I keep interrupting. Okay. Cardamom Rose. Yes. Cardamom Rose um, was really made for a really dear friend by the name of Sharon Pendana uh, years ago. And it was kind of a signature fragrance for her. It was a gift to her. Mm -hmm. For just having been there throughout my creative okay. life. I mean, she worked for Essence, so you know when I was doing the line, she worked for many magazines, she was a stylist. She always supported what you know the kind of creative work that I was doing. So I definitely uh, developed that fragrance for her. Um, and it seems to be a fragrance that a lot of people love. I love cardamom. So do I. Cardamom is one of my favorite, favorite notes. Great decanters. What are these? Those are three new fragrances that I'm working on. An oud, a smoke, and a black rose. Because you're nothing in this industry <laughs> if you don't have a new fragrance, right? Yes, this is true. Wow. Spicy, spicy. Very nice. But it dries down to a nice, creamy, vanilla caramel. Um, well, we'll have to put it on skin since yeah. you say that. Yeah. Definitely tested strips are a, a nice way to gauge a, a fragrance, but 
I'm skin. I'm skin is always better. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'll spray some on. Sure. So this has been getting a lot of play these days. Mm -hmm. Really nice bottle, simplistic. Thank you. Substance, they're thick. These are awesome. It smells different already. Yeah. Hmm. I like it. It's been, uh, Cardinal Rose has gotten really good. As a creator, does it smell oh, like wow. it does? On most people, or it's a little different? Different. It changes. Uh, see, that's why I say the beauty of naturals. Naturals really do synergize with the body. They mm -hmm. don't stay one way. If you get warm throughout the day, the fragrance changes. If I it find... cools down, it changes. And um, I'm not going to say that you know all naturals have that type of lifespan because you know, as you know, I did review fragrances for many years for Soft Bone. and um, I didn't know that. Yeah, I did for six years. <laughs> Gosh, man, I thought I was a Renaissance. <laughs> Is there a citrus in here at all? Uh, sweet orange. Like, sweet orange. And I was gonna, I was gonna say um, like um, like when you cook, when you what do you call it. Mm -hmm. The zest. Yes. Orange zest. Yes. I cook too, but yeah. I can't think of the word zest. That smells nice. I like it. Yeah. So that fragrance has been getting a lot of play. A lot of people have written about it. Um, What's the life on the skin, more or less? Average you know what? These fragrances last really long. They give you at least eight hours. That's minimally. awesome. And, and that's it's... pretty fantastic for a natural perfume. Because yeah. like if... if Ever there was like the biggest complaint in in the frat com is that it doesn't last, it doesn't last. I, I only get a, I two a hours, you know. So eight hours is definitely. Um, honestly, I, I could wear this fragrance from the time I get up in the morning until I shower, maybe ten or eleven, twelve at night, and I and especially when the water hits me, I can really smell a burst of the fragrance. But the fragrances last very long because they have a very balanced uh, way of dealing with the notes. Mm -hmm. And we do use uh, a lot of uh, base notes to you know, make the fragrances stay with the body. I, I, I do like that. So you create everything here in your I home? I create everything here. Um, and are you self-taught? Did you go to perfume you know school? What? Initially, I was self-taught um, when I decided I was going, I really didn't even decide I was going to do perfumery. A friend of mine said to me that this is what I should do. And I was like, that is not what I want to do. <laughs> and here you are <laughs> with a fantastic line to and show. And I just got that kind of aha moment. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just got tons of books. Red, 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 red. In six months, I had released the first collection. But it was more of an aromatherapy type of fragrance line um, with body care products like salts and bath oils and that kind of stuff. And Another I, endeavor. Yeah, and um, I just start, kept studying. I, I got very, very lucky. I met a great set of teachers. I started taking aromatherapy under this teacher by the name of Debbie Froon. And um, then her husband came along. He's a PhD chemist. And I realized that she had been taught perfumery by Catherine DeGraw. And so it was kind of one of those moments in life that happened. And the people come from nowhere, and then after you have the experience, they retire, or you don't even know what happened to them. Hmm. So that's kind of how it happened for me. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so let's try something else. Okay. I guess we're on water. Let's try water. Water. Yeah. water. So what's your oud going to be? Is it going to be a very animalic one? My oud is going to be um, a very light citrus modern oud. Um, and I'll give you Man, a test of what that's that nice too. I, I really, I, I didn't, I, I'm, these smell very well blended. And there's definitely, um, which I told you last time at, mm -hmm. at the uh, Element show, is like, you definitely have a signature. There's yeah. a certain, like, um, spiciness, yeah, a certain facet spiciness, that are in the and, to it, Silk Roads, that kind of feel. And that was the core of what we did when we released the first seven fragrances, but we're hoping that as we reach the reach and start to release this next seven fragrances, that we're going to change a little bit to give a little bit more lightness um, mm -hmm. and a little bit more character across. No, no, the don't look. Don't, no, that's not a bad thing. I yeah. think it's no, great. No, no. No, I no. mean, real true mm -hmm. frag heads, they, mm -hmm. they enjoy something full, rich, yeah. long lasting with a Puts a, that gives yeah, you a cloud yeah. bubble, bubble cloud rather, of yeah, aroma. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely don't don't go lighter, too lighter. Well, actually, let me let me let you try the oud and uh, we can get your kind of response on it. Let me get a close up of the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very nice. So these are 100 ml bottles? Those are 100 ml for the Eau de Toilette. And what are the prices? Prices are, um, for the Eau de Toilette, 100 ml is 480. 480? Yes. And for the um, 50 milliliter is 380. And we do also a 50 milliliter Eau de Toilette is 240. Definitely pricey. What's this? That's Ood? the Oud that we're working on. And it's that just is bright. Test that is very bright, right? It's definitely bright. It's um. I, it doesn't smell fecal. Yeah, I, 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 I don't see <laughs> and my, like, fecal fragrance. It's just not me. <laughs> Very nice. So this is still in, in this is still in, 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 in um, creation of Yeah. Very nice. So yeah. Um, so um, we just you just mentioned prices. That's pretty high up there. Yeah, uh, you know we get that. Um, that has been a contention that a lot of people talk about. But when you're working in 100 percent botanical, that's what it is. You know, I oh, know. I know. I know. Well, I'm good friends with her house, the matriarch. Yeah. You know, her stuff is pricey, also. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you know, de depending on what what your needs are and what what your taste level is, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you do. I mean, it's a major investment, but if you choose the right one and it works for you, then you know, it's it's not that much. You know, uh, people spend hundreds and thousands of dollars looking for that right fragrance right, right, and it never is yeah. you know that holy grail fragrance and uh so yeah so um but i do like what i smell okay i like i like royal water i thought it was going to be more of an aquatic but it still had some fullness yeah, about it cool. and that oud I, I forgot which one you'll know that's this one very nice yeah it's gonna be very light very modern but i don't smell light on this paper this smells mm. pretty yeah. Pretty full to me. Yeah. All right. So, anything else you'd like to share with my subscribers? Well, um, modern patchouli gets a lot, a lot of play. Um, and this fragrance was originally made for myself. Okay. My partner took it over. <laughs> <laughs> so I went. I actually wear another fragrance more often than I do this one. But um, women have been starting to really love this okay. fragrance for some reason. I'll um, check it out for sure. I I wore patchouli straight up patchouli oil. Like, um, your flower child, <laughs> I guess. Well, I, I wore patchouli and musk, my own mix, mix okay. that I used to for years. This is patchouli, capital patchouli. P. It's earthy, definitely earthy, yes, which typically it is, but this even more so. It's got like, um, I, I feel like I smell like um, moist earth or soil. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a patchouli wearer too much anymore, mm -hmm. but I would definitely consider cardamom rose. Yes, and um, also exotic flower is a is a fragrance that a lot of women. Um, it's a floral. Yeah, yeah it's let's, a floral. let's check that out. It's a it's a champaka, jasmine, tuberose. Whoa! All notes that I do love. I want to smell a real tuberose. I've never smelled real tuberose. Have you? Yes. Oh, that's very nice. This one is a little different than the others. Yeah. Clearly more uh, floral, floral, feminine, feminine. Not, not spicy. Not spicy, mm. no. Good. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Nose. You do work sometimes. Yeah, I, I yeah. see I would wear this. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate florals. And for some reason, when I, when I wear something that's like uber feminine, mm -hmm. on my skin it just doesn't come off that way. Okay. My, my skin seems to neutralize the over of it. Right. And, uh, you know, I wore Connell Flower to work one day, yes, you, know, for, you know that, that one, yes. <laughs> and that's just one of the stock kids, and real typical Spanish macho guy. Mm -hmm. Does this smell feminine to you? No, no, it smells like, you know, clean, like, musky, like, all right, cool. Okay. And it's clearly like one of the feminist, most feminine mm -hmm. fragrances you can, feminine. More feminine fragrances than you The yeah. bloopers. We haven't had too many bloopers But I wear this one. I wear that one. I like this one. Black tie or something. I like actually that. like that on skin. And exotic flower. This one, let's see, you flowers, this is a big, big rose. Mmm, I'd rather try the other one. You want to try the other yeah. one? Rose, although I'm wearing a rose fragrance setting, rose is not right. I, I yes. want to put exotic flower on my skin. You want to okay. put that one on? Yeah. Sure. Here. So Stephen, I'm coming over to your house. We're going to shoot some stuff at your house in Jersey today. You'll get to smell this work too.
That's actually nice. See, what I didn't, what I normally don't like about natural perfumes is that um, what is it's like these these are smoother mm -hmm. on what I'm smelling on my skin and what I'm smelling on the paper. Sometimes they there's just just too much. Mm -hmm. You did a nice blend here where they're not balanced properly. I think like one of the arguments that I have a lot with people um, who expose broader palettes, and I'm very familiar with Ooh, both okay. natural and working with aroma chemicals because I studied this um, past spring in France, and I've also studied under Raymond Matz. Oh, my good friend with, Raymond, um, I know him well. Yeah, so um, I'm very familiar with all the spectrum of fragrance making, and before, so if you had to make something that included aroma chemicals, mm -hmm. you would be able to as well. Yes, I could totally do that. I'm trying to do that. Okay, um, but I. The, but part of the reason why I started making my own fragrance is because I am allergic. I'm very chemical sensitive. I was going to say, what made yes. you go natural? Um, that's that's the reason why my partner is as well um, has sinus problems, and when we wear more commercial fragrances, they really bother us. So part of the reason why. So it's not I that you hate them. them. No, 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 no. You, no I, it just I, says, you know, it, I grew up wearing um, fine fragrances. Um, I shopped at Berdoff Whitman all the time for fragrances. That was mm -hmm. my go-to place for fragrances. I shopped at Barney's for fragrances, Avis and Venusta. So I'm very, very familiar with fragrance as a broad spectrum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This works on my yeah. skin. That totally works on my skin. I like that. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That's very nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank this you. This was very interesting. I'm sure my... Um, for coming to see us in Bed-Stuy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I don't venture to Best Life too often, but I'm happy that I did. Yeah, I'm glad you came. Really, uh, it's a festive neighborhood. There's a lot of people, yeah, a lot of action. A lot of movement. Yeah. A lot of movement here. Yeah. I really had a wonderful time. Thanks so much for everything. Very glad to have you here, Carlos. So, he would like to offer something. Well, um, uh, Carlos is going to do a draw, and we'll offer a um, 21 milliliter uh, sample pack from Therapy Type Perfumes. So that'll include all of the fragrances? Yes, that'll include all of the fragrances. So the lucky winner will have an opportunity to really experience what we do at Therapy Type Perfumes. And is, will this be worldwide or US only? This can be worldwide, yes. There you go. They complain that it's always US, but it's, it's, it's really expensive. It's gotten really, really expensive yeah, to ship overseas. So thank you for that. Thanks for your time. Thank you everyone for tuning in.